We've already looked at our past experiences. What I want to do in this session is talk about our core values. In fact, I like what Paul said in 2 Corinthians 13, 8. He said, we cannot oppose the truth. We must always stand for the truth. In fact, I believe there are certain truths that God hardwired into your heart, things that you must stand for. When someone else does something that offends your values, there's kind of a righteous anger that kicks up within you and says, you know what, no, you can't go there. You may be able to say a lot around me, but you can't say that. What happened is they crossed a core value, something that you really believe in and stand for with all of your heart. Someone said it this way, core values are those things you're willing to take a stand for, even if it means facing risk or even losing something that you really care about. They're the values that are hardwired into your soul. So when you look at different people in the Bible, you're going to see obviously that they had some specific core values. I'll give you some examples. Samuel in the Old Testament, um, he stood for integrity. At the end of his life, you can tell he really valued integrity when basically he stood up before the community and said, have I wronged anybody? Did I do anything that wasn't honoring? If so, take a free shot at me. And you can tell Samuel deeply valued integrity. In fact, we named one of our sons Samuel because integrity is a core value to us. David, he modeled intimacy with the Father. He was known as a man after God's own heart. David said, this one thing I desire, and this is what I seek, to dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. He valued intimacy with God. Solomon, God said, you can have anything you want. What do you want? Solomon wanted wisdom. He valued wisdom, and he was known as one of the wisest people who ever lived. He valued wisdom. In fact, if you look at well-known Christians um, from our lifetime, Billy Graham, what did he value? He values evangelism. He wanted to reach people for the glory of God. Mother Teresa, compassion, anything she can do to make a difference in someone's life, that's what she valued. When you look at your life, you'll see certain values that God placed within you, those things that you must take a stand for because they mean so much to you. So I want to give you just some practical examples of what you might value. You might be a businesswoman who has a passion to help women who are out of work. And so you value leadership and compassion. You've got great gifts of leadership in your work, and yet you want to help other women succeed when they're struggling. So you value compassion in that area. Maybe you're a teenager and you, there's some um, people on your block that are older and can't mow their own yard. And so you go and mow their yard or you check on them. And what you're doing is you're showing the value of honor. You're honoring those around you. Maybe you're a dad and you have, you're very passionate about um, taking care of children and making sure other children are cared for. You might have a value of sacrifice or you might have a value of faithfulness. And this is something that's very, very important to you. So what I want to do is give you some tools to help you seek God to identify what your specific core values would be. And let me just ask you three questions and get you to think about how would you answer these questions? And we're going to help unearth those values that God has planted in your heart. The first question is this, what stirs up righteous anger inside of you? What stirs up righteous anger inside of you? What do you look at and say, no, not on my watch. I just, I can't tolerate that. That's, that's just not right. Somebody's got to do something about this. It might as well be me. Maybe it's some type of injustice. Maybe it's racism. Maybe it's poverty. Maybe it's when a man abuses a woman. Maybe it's when children uh, are left in, in need. What is it that stirs up righteous anger in you? Second question, what things bring you the most happiness or joy? When you see something, what makes you just leap with joy on the inside? What is it that makes you celebrate and you, you just, you want to be a part of something where this is going on? Ask yourself, what is it that breaks your heart, stirs up righteous anger? What is it that brings happiness and joy? The third question is this. When you look at your personal timeline, what core values do you see revealed in it? As you look back over your past experiences, what consistently do you see revealed that might imply you have a core value of this or that?